Hong Kong's residents are becoming increasingly worried over the growing number of hazy days that obscure the city's iconic skyline. And with the smog come a raft of associated health problems. Hong Kong University professor in community medicine, Anthony Headley, says the region faces an epidemic as bad air caused over a thousand deaths and resulted in over seven million doctor visits last year. Roadside levels of pollution in Hong Kong are horrendously high. Uh, more than 50% of the population live and work at the roadside. I would say that uh, probably everybody is exposed to roadside pollutants at some time during their average working day. The Headley Environmental Index, named after the professor, calculates monetary damage inflicted by pollution. Estimating in 2008, it cost the city of 7 million people almost 260 million US dollars. No emissions caps mean Hong Kong's skies continue to be contaminated by its coal-fired power stations, vehicles and booming manufacturing sector across the border. Acting Assistant Director of the Environmental Protection Department, Wai Chun Mok, said pollution reduction targets and tax incentives exist, but much work must be done. We still have quite a number of API exceeding uh, 100, simply because there's not much improvement uh, to the concentration of the nitrogen dioxide. The API, or Air Pollution Index, is monitored by stations across Hong Kong, with 100 considered very high, while a rise over 200 means people with health problems should stay indoors. Though the annual average in central Hong Kong has remained under 70 so far, campaigners warn that without immediate action, the city's air will soon become an even more serious health and financial hazard. Stephanie McIntyre, Reuters.